We actually take fire hoses with hot water and, and wash the snow off the roof as it's coming down. First thing Tuesday morning, a little before seven, everybody got dressed, boom, up on the roof and have been coming down in shifts to take breaks and they're up there today just finishing up. I sleep on the floor of my office. I have, uh, I have uh, five moving blankets that you wrap stuff up, stacked up, and so they're about that thick, and um, roll up my jacket for a pillow. My staff sleeps in every nook and cranny they can find. We have staff sleeping in the training room, locker rooms. We have couches in the locker room, so they utilize those. And We had so much snow um, between last night and today. You know, we spent a lot of time last night, actually during the day yesterday as well. These were full. You could walk right across some of these. I um, mean, again, they're four feet deep, 15, 16 feet wide. Uh, 50 feet long, and there's heat in half of them in the concrete, but it just can't keep up. And when the snow has nowhere to go, you run the risk of damaging the fabric when the snow comes down and can't go anywhere. I try to get the building as hot as I possibly can. I actually started heating Sunday a little bit to try to get the concrete warm. It takes a long time. No different than a house, you know, you've got to get everything in the structure warm. We, we normally maintain 50 degrees, so quite a swing from 50 to 90.